Constant Contact's digital marketing platform is just what your small business needs to stand out, stay top of mind, and see big results. With an easy-to-use, powerful tool set of email and SMS marketing and social media and events management, you can sell more, raise more, and fast-track your growth. Not a marketer? No sweat. With our AI content generator and automated emails and texts, you'll say the right thing at the right time, every time. So get going and growing with Constant Contact today. Try it free at ConstantContact.com. This is Conversate With Us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. And we're back. This is another episode of Converse with us, with myself and my lovely wife, Evelyn Arivas. I didn't say my name because I want her to. It sounds sexier. <laughs> oh, isn't it fun when your spouse or your like the person you like says your name? Yeah, because usually it's like, hey, babe, hey, sweetie, or, what's up, wife? Go ask mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never get to hear him say, oh, that's Chris. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, right? <laughs> anyway, that's Chris Donovan, my <laughs> husband. And I am Evelyn Arivas, and we are... Your favorite uh, podcast, right? That's right. That's, That's what we are. You're listening. <laughs> okay, as long as we're one of the podcasts you listen uh, to, I'm good. I'm I mean, good with that. There's a billion out there, and in three years, when they're all gone, except for like the four or five hundred of us, yeah, you'll like us more. Oh, well, I hope so. I do too. Well, maybe we'll be good at it by then. Doubt it. <laughs> Highly doubt that. But thank you for listening. Go to thisisfunner uh, as a favor for me, and check out the podcast that my kids do. They're actually good at it. Yeah, it's actually shocking. They're like really good. <laughs> Way at it. better. Right? Yeah, this is this is something we did. And if you've started from the beginning with us, then you know this starts as a hobby and for fun first yes. and foremost for Chris and I, because it's kind of a stress reliever for the two of us since mm-hmm. we both in our lives do actual radio and podcast gigs like real ones this is our fun one yeah. this is the one we do that's just about like us connecting again with each other every like decompressing and talking about the kids and talking Honestly, about life it's the only time we can get the kids to shut up long enough for real to I let us talk i don't know how they do it like all of a sudden we're like hey we're recording and it gets quiet in our house when the, when, the re- when everybody knows it's recording it's quiet so we just do this they don't even know we're not rec- what our, we're recording now but we a little some, mo- moment of peace sometimes we don't even record we just sit here and, talk. <laughs> <laughs> and they have no idea <laughs> Mom and dad have been recording their podcast every day lately. Yeah, like, <laughs> why are they recording a 24-hour podcast? <laughs> but anyway, thank you for listening. We do appreciate you. Uh, so let's talk first. Obviously, we start with food. So let's talk about some food. Yes, you're, you're on this kick of uh, enjoying working out and enjoying, you know, what you do now as an athletic um, oh, yeah, influencer am- on Instagram. I- I love that. So, Thank be, you. That's what I am. Be, being that you're that, <laughs> I'm um, not. you uh, are, are, are substituting certain things for dinner. Like last night we had spaghetti, no. which we still do like whole wheat. And we had a I think whole we, grain. Whole grain. We do a whole grain. That's what I said. Meant. Um, it, but we also do. <laughs> there is a difference. Yes, there, there is. A, there but is you also do like a homemade sauce where you just put like tomatoes in there and seasoned it yourself so you knew exactly what was in it yeah there was no sugar in it exactly. so i made sure because a lot of uh, spaghetti sauces have a lot of sugar in yeah them. so you have to kind of figure that out so i'm trying my best to stay away from sugar and you're doing great and you did that for us and I, then for you i you put did veggie tables yes yeah, so i did steamed veggies so i'm kind of always incorporating whatever we eat for dinner but making it a little different for myself or for julian because julian's really Julene's on it right now too, too. Yeah, yeah. and cassie though cassie's a huge cassie loves veggies so freak yes we're we're really into it. We're so getting there now. The boys are still eating like they should because honestly, boys need to eat more hearty. I yeah, think to be honest, Aiden needs to eat a lot of Aiden food. Aiden needs to, get a to lot eat taller. way more than he does. <laughs> so put it that way. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So uh, we did veg sketty. <laughs> veg. I can't even say it. Spaghetti veg sketty. Veg sketty. Veggie sketty. Veg sketty. Sounds like one of the bad guys in Dick Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Like mumbles. Who's that? Rock face and veg sketty. Come veg on in here. <laughs> Like, I, oh, can I get that with a side of Alfredo? What does he shoot? Noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Out of his nose. <laughs> Ew! Oh, gross. Now I don't want Sketty ever. Nah, you do. But anyway, yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, you you enjoyed it quite well. Quite well. Yeah, I used just like frozen vegetables from Costco and I uh, defrosted them. Actually, here's what I did. This is actually a little life hack. So I made the noodles. Yes. Okay. And then I well I made the sauce first. Yes. Made the noodles. Okay. Take a note. Took the noodles out of the of the water. Noodles out. Okay. Okay. And put that into the spaghetti sauce. So I had like a whole pasta thing ready to go. Okay. okay. So it was all mixed together basically. Like well almost this. together. Now I'm hungry. Keep going. Okay. In the sketty water. Sketty water. This might sound gross, but because I had seasoned it with basil and some salt, I put 
the frozen veggies in there. You put the frozen veggie tables in the sketty water? Yep. Wow. Now, I have to tell you, it might not be great to do that, but it tasted way better than normal. So I think because I had used... I had already seasoned the water yeah. really well. So and then I just scooped out the steamed veggies. Mm. Well, basically, they were, you know, already cooked veggies the at that point. Veggies, yeah. Boiled veggies. And put that on a plate, added some of the sauce with yep. pork sausage. Yes, which and was, it was yummy. super good. It was really yummy. I didn't do the veggie tables, but I did the, the uh, pasta, which was whole well, wheat. Well, you're not a veggie table person. I am not. <laughs> I'm not you're a not a vegetable one. person. No, no, no. I, I, will do, I will do like raw mushrooms, raw carrots, raw cucumbers. But if you cook any of those things, not a huge fan. Yeah, he's a, he, yeah, that's basically it. You'll yeah. eat vegetables, like but they beans, have to corn, be. I'll eat that cooked. Yeah, you will eat green beans. That's yeah. good. Green beans, corn, not peas. I'll eat a salad, a good salad. Although I made peas in that stew the other day, and you did eat it. Yeah, because I ignored it. Well, it didn't have. I'm sure it didn't taste like peas. Peas don't have a taste. No, they they take the flavor of whatever it's around. It's like chicken or tofu. Tofu. Tofu does that. Tofu sounds like some karate film. I actually wanted to learn how to, how to make tofu better. What is tofu made out of? Toe and food. Uh. You just push it together. <laughs> You're asking and, too many questions. <laughs> I actually don't know. I think it's soy of some sort. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. It's soy based or like egg. Protein? We should know that if we have a podcast about eating food. Well, here's stuff. the best part of converse <laughs> with us. We converse about food. We don't know everything about food. Here's the fun thing. We're not chefs. So this is amateur radio. That is this is truth. amateur chef talk. <laughs> I actually don't know. Julian, what's tofu made of? Milk. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> Wait, I need us. to find out what tofu is made out of. Hold on, one oh, second. you're Hold still on. looking that up right now. What is tofu made of? You didn't say, "Hey Siri." They didn't have to. Oh, because I clicked a button. Yeah, I had that button work out for tofu, you. Tofu. She was right. Milk. Tofu is made of condensed soy milk. Because yeah. I said soy. Yeah. She said milk. Okay. Wow. Soy you're milk. Both right. That is pressed into white solid blocks. In a process quite similar to cheese making. So it's just... It's soy milk. Block of cheese? It's a batch of soy milk and neg- nagari. Nagari? Nagari. Sure. Either way, it's good protein, right? I don't know. I don't eat it. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and it does take the flavor. <laughs> this is, again, conversate with us. We don't know what we're talking about. Just have a seat and we'll just talk. <laughs> about food. I mean, like normal people do. Not everybody knows what things are made of, okay? I, I couldn't have told you what tofu is made out of, but now I know, and I'm still not sure. <laughs> so I still know. <laughs> but I know this for a fact. It, like, it takes the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with. Yes. So that is a fact. So I do like love bread. a good miso soup. It is the mm. bomb, and I will eat all of the little tofu blocks in it. There should be more in miso soup. I'm not going to lie. The tofu should be more in there. Plentiful. Agreed. We should probably make that on our own one day. Tofu? Again, I'm going to buy some tofu and see if I can just make some ish out of it. All right. I'm going to buy some uh, soy milk and see if I can churn it. Oh, God. Please don't try to make cheese. <laughs> You're gonna, he's going to try to make tofu. homemade tofu, homemade cheese it's it's similar to cheese making kids will come out and be like <laughs> have you heard those stories of people making bathtub cheese oh god no it's a thing google it it's a thing and people try to like sell it at farmers markets bathtub cheese that's why i would never this is this is a fact really never set, buy cheese at a farmer's market <laughs> unless you know how it was made because there is a whole industry of people that do underground cheese making and they make it in their bathtub. Well, are they rolling around in the bathtub? I mean, I'm sure they have showered in the bathtub. Think about what's in your bathtub. That's true, I guess. Think about what's at the bottom of our drain in our bathtub sometimes. Your hair. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Saying soap scud, oh my just God, all the that's random disgusting. stuff. Isn't that da- that's a whole thing? That's an industry. People do it. It's like you know, like people making meth in their house. Yeah, there's a whole thing where people make cheese in their bathtub. <laughs> wow, if they live next to each other, that'd be a party. <laughs> <laughs> I could have borrow some oh, wait, equipment to moon- make my underground cheese. And then the moonshiner next door, man. You got <laughs> meth, beer, or booze, and cheese. That's all you need. Oh, and then somebody. No, we're not going to go. You know that what? Far. There was a time, probably last summer, that I thought we were, we might be headed to that. Yeah, right. Where everyone was making underground <laughs> illegal products, now? <laughs> and that's why we have probably illegal poultry in our backyard. <laughs> for all I know. <laughs> All right, all right. right. <laughs> Let's get into right now, right now, before we lose our minds. Okay. 
Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Okay, Chris, what's your right now, right now? My right now, right now, is uh, I'm, I'm on another podcast called Handle Care, Breast Cancer, and Beyond, which is with Carrie Madrid from The Care Project. Yes. And she was recently on a uh, Zoom panel call Okay, with Beyonce's dad. Oh, nice. Dr. Matthew, Matthew Knowles. Knowles. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was recently diagnosed with breast cancer. Wow, really? Yeah, I like don't think I know that. I didn't know that. the last year, yeah. I didn't know it either until she told wow. me about this. Okay. He calls it chest cancer. But it's not chest cancer. That, know. That'd be like lung cancer, right? Yeah. yeah well, or like I mean, something or on the inside of your or something. Chest cancer. Yeah. So he calls it that for marketing purposes because he thinks he can get in touch with other people because it's not breasts. So anyway. Oh, with all interesting. That said, okay. Okay. Just go to this is fun and listen to the podcast because it did not make a whole lot of people happy in that Zoom. Him conference. calling it chest, chest cancer conference. caused an outrage. Yes. Oh, so this was the show. Wait we a second, after. I am all about that tea. Hold on a second. <laughs> so, because you know Matthew Knowles is not necessarily known for having a great reputation. No, like not you know at that, all. right? Okay. Yeah. So sad, by the way, that he had breast cancer. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Chest that's, cancer, as he called it. Well, no, he does not have chest cancer. Okay, uh-huh. he had breast cancer. Correct. And that's that's really crappy for sure. Mm-hmm. But that is interesting that he would flip it on them and change. Ooh, I kind of, okay, I'll he listen. Was, he was said it for marketing purposes. <laughs> you got purposes. me. I want to hear. I know. You got to hear. He said <laughs> oh. it was for marketing purposes, and I'll give that away. But then a lot of them were, um, a lot of people were asking questions like, why? You know, like, why were, would it be marketing? That's, you di- that's terrible marketing. Were you diagnosed with chest cancer or breast cancer? And he said, breast cancer. And well, then there you go. Like, yeah, because well, now, I mean, if you really. Confusion. It's super confusing because mm-hmm. if you hear somebody, oh, they got chest cancer, I'd be like, Oh my God! Like what? Where? Where does where? that come yeah, from? How do you get it? How do you get chest? Ca- is that from smoking? Like yeah. uh, you know, is that a form of lung cancer? I agree. It's like another form of cancer we have to worry about. Yeah, I would. Ne- just- I would never think. Yeah, but, I, w- I don't even correlate yeah. that to like anything that could happen in your like mammary like, glands or yeah. anything like that. But breast cancer is a thing, and men have breast tissue. So yeah, bre- yeah, men yeah. Get breast cancer to one percent or whatever, but still, he wow. got on there and did that and made a bunch of people mad. So. Uh, I didn't necessarily talk a ton in that podcast because I didn't need to. <laughs> Carrie and uh, Car- <laughs> all the ladies took it away. So listen to it. Go to This is Fun or Care. Handle with Care, Breast Cancer, and Beyond. It is, um, it's enlightening, if nothing. Mm, I think you should at Tina Knowles, his ex-wife, just for the fun of it. And be like, listen to your ex man get himself in trouble. And then, because you know she'd be like laughing about it. She would be laughing because she got a <laughs> shout out on Beyonce's song, but he didn't. Oh, there's a reason for that. I know. Because she puts her jeans on like her mom. Yes. <laughs> Is that what she said in the song, right? She's a savage. Mm. Classy, bougie, wretched. So what's your right now, right now? Okay, my right now, right now. Well, I now know what it's like to be maced. I'm sorry? I got maced. With like the the big the big uh, the the it would like the stick with the chain and the ball with the spikes? What? Is that a thing? That's a mace. No, like mace, like spray mace in your face. Oh, were you at a like a rally? A protest? Or no, I was not. And <laughs> the police did not spray me. Do you live in Portland? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I now know what it's like to do to be at a protest. No, no, listen, and I don't mean to make light of that. Here's what happened. So we're in the house last Friday, Friday night. I think? Sure, Friday night. Aiden comes out of the living room into the living room, and he sees my our daughter's keys on the table now generally she puts her keys in her own room and all of that thing because she's like this are her things and all that and one of the reasons is she just recently acquired mace a little tiny thing of mace keychain on her keychain 
her boyfriend knew she had been going out for walks at night now because she's way into like trying to be fit again. And so she's mm-hmm. like been going out and stuff. So he she he got concerned and so he bought her mace as like a gift. So she Aww. has it up and she was like, I don't know what to do with this. And like, I'm supposed to test it once. I didn't. So she didn't ever. Okay. She never tested it. No, just to know. to know if it worked or anything or whatever. Okay. Aiden comes up to her keys and looks at it and is like, none of us are paying attention because this is again, weeks after she's already gotten it. This is just sitting on the table. And it was behind the wall for me. So I couldn't see. Right. Oh yeah. You were sitting right here. I was. And Aiden get, takes it out and pushes it. And all of a sudden, the mace sprays in our house and shoots up to the top of the ceiling. (laughs) And there is a big blob of orange spray on our ceiling, okay? Uh. So I'm like, oh, my God. And Aiden's like, ah, what was that? He's freaking out. He doesn't know what it is. And I'm like, Aiden, what did you do? And he's like, I don't know. I thought this was perfume or hand sanitizer. It wasn't. It was mace. It was freaking mace. And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was like, Aiden, oh, my God, Aiden, that's mace. You're so lucky to get that in your face. And I'm freaking out because he could have sprayed it right into his eyes. He instead missed well, by, like, 10 inches well, why would and he went into the ceiling. Well, why hand sanitizer Because he's a 12-year-old boy <laughs> who was curious about what a button was on a little weird uh... contraption, and he sprayed it, and that thing could have sprayed right into his eyes. So here's what happened. So I'm, like, freaking out. I'm, I'm super mad, but I'm also kind of, like, super relieved that he didn't spray his face. I'm, like, really, you know, I grab it from him, and I'm... And he starts crying because he feels mm-hmm. terrible, terrible. He's like, I'm so sorry, Mama. I'll paint it. I'll do something. What can I do? And we're like, oh, my God. We have to saturate that thing. One of us has to get a Swiffer on the ceiling. <laughs> How are we going to soak up the mace that's now sprayed in our house? And I'm in the house. And now I'm coughing. And I can't. I'm like, okay, this is out of control. I'm opening <laughs> up every freaking door. Chris is sitting at his computer like, <laughs> that sucks. He doesn't even get out of his chair. He can give two S's about it. It's because I'm not painting it. No, I I knew you weren't. (laughs) So I get up on the ladder and I Swiffer our ceiling. Yes, I Swiffered the ceiling and tried to saturate as much. Sentence you should never have to say. Yeah, who Swiffers the ceiling? This bitch. So anyway, (laughs) I get up there. I clean it as best I can. Not thinking about anything. I'm washing things up. I'm trying to clean it the best. I get, I can't breathe. I'm like, oh, this is horrible. But at least I'm not, you know, maced in my face or something, right? So I clean up best I can. I'm thinking, okay, in two days, I'll let that dry. And then I'll, I will paint the ceiling, right? Mm-hmm. So I can at least, so it's not a big orange splat on our ceiling. Exactly. So Aiden's fine. I, of course... We're, he's not in real trouble because obviously he didn't mean to do that. He he know, knew what it was. And next, and we all learned a lesson. It's like don't touch things, Julie. Next time, tell your brother like you know what things are on your keys. You know, all these things, all all the lessons we've learned, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sitting on the couch. <laughs> about what two hours later? Yeah. A below the area that the mace hit on the ceiling. Correct. Not thinking clearly, logically, because I grabbed the blanket. That was on the couch. That right underneath it. Yeah, not yeah. still, again, not thinking logically. Yeah. Because I just went through an ordeal. And an I, ordeal. And oh, I had to clean. An ordeal. Did you need an ointment? No. <laughs> okay, good. But I needed a lot of water in my eyes. <laughs> I grab the blanket and I'm sitting there kind of like tired and I go and I rub my eye. Mace in my mother loving eyes. It's like when you're cutting peppers, you're like, try not to touch your eyeballs. It was way worse than that. It was like oh, jalapenos sure. in my eyeballs. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> to the bathroom and I'm freaking out. There is the burning sensation of this whatever is in my eyes. My eyes are watering, 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 watering. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I clearly got mace on my hands. You know how rude it was though? She's like, can you pause the show real quick? I got to go wash my face. And I'm like, okay, come on. We're in the middle of a show. Like, why are you doing this right now? <laughs> you jerk. And I run to the bathroom and I'm like, <laughs> I got mace in my eyes. Somebody help me. And then Chris is like, do you really need help? And I was like, yes, I need help. <laughs> she didn't need go help. Go get my seat. Yes. I made you go get the visine, remember? <laughs> you were such a liar. <laughs> I was freaking out. Don't downplay it, you big I'm not jerk. I'm downplaying anything. I just, it was a mace incident. Incident? Incident. Incident. And you had to paint the ceiling. 
Yeah, yeah, a couple days later, but yes, I freaking got no. I now know I don't even want to mess with Mace a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, and cops have to get that sprayed in their face I to know. get through police academy. Corey and then they have that. to walk straight or something, right, to be able to give descriptions of the assailants. I've seen them do that, where they have to get maced and then they have to give description of the person that really? did it. Yeah, that's like a whole training like, thing. Who shot you? A guy holding a mace container. <laughs> That'd be my answer. Yeah, that's all I got. That's it. <laughs> it falls on my knees. No. No, I've seen that. No, a full on. It, it was horrible, oh, and it yeah. wasn't. I obviously the full fledged mace experience in my face. Thank God, but it was enough for me mace to be in like my face. Enough mace in my face that I will never do it again. That's the name of this episode. Ma- mace in my face no. or jalapeno eyeballs? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you're it's alive. Veg sketty. Veg sketty. Veg sketty mace. <laughs> well, I'm glad mace. you're alive. In 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 being that it is the week before. Before, well, let me do the math one, two, three. The days yeah, leading up, a couple days leading up to Valentine's Day. I figured we talk a little bit about that. Oh, well, okay. What do you, do you have a proposition or something? Or? No, but there oh. were some silly things that I did with the radio station back in the day. Like we went to we had we set up speed dating mm-hmm. once for Valentine's Day. Did you ever do that at the radio station? We did do that. Did you ever attend? Yeah, I actually had to host it once. No, no. Did you sit down and? Speed oh no, date? I never was part of the dating process. You were like but the I host. was married to you at when this oh, happened. I wasn't married to you yet, and I was like the host of it all. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. weird. It was weird to see people sit down and be like, "Okay, talk, yeah, five minutes." Awkward. Yeah, super awkward. We don't talk about. I don't know what size your boobs. I don't know what. To talk okay, about. really? That's no, what people know. said. <laughs> no, that's horrible. I mean, they might have. It was not rock station. <laughs> what size your tits? Uh, so That's horrible. How about, how about what are you having to drink? And then you order a drink, and then by the time it gets there, you're, you're like, like, okay, well, bye. And you're like, I guess I'll drink this with this other dude <laughs> for the next five minutes. Yeah, right. Thanks for the drink, by the way. We actually had a really fun story with um, our one. Uh, so the saleswoman that helped put it together. Okay. Her name is Lanisha. She still works at our station and everything. Yeah. Um, she w- set up the whole Dating, the speed thing. dating thing, yeah, because she was like, "We got to do this, and it'll be fun." Okay. So we did it. Was it was trendy for a while. It I was, that. it was. Yeah, so we set it up. We went, and it wasn't like a great turnout, but we still like had some fun with it. Okay. She met her husband. Oh, there. wait. She attended too. She attended, and oh, she God. ended up doing like she's like, "Forget it, I'll be one of the people too." You know, for the heck of oh. it. And she met her husband, and they have a baby now, and everything. Like, that was all like, planned oh. out. No, it wasn't. She to this day, she'll be like, "I can't believe I met my husband at that speed dating that thing so I set up." <laughs> she's like, "Damn it, I haven't set up another speed dating thing in a long time. Maybe I need a second husband." No, no, <laughs> silly. <laughs> It that's just awesome. makes it makes so much. That's interesting though because I couldn't. I, I mean, I will. That's like I, that's speaking not true. it into existence. Is you know what I'm saying? Like she was looking for love and she made that ish happen. Yeah, and we <laughs> and we weren't and we sat down and I bet if that we would have met the, in that circumstance, we probably would have not moved on to the next person. Uh, probably not. Not at not at not at Olive Garden. Not not definitely not the first date. Uh, for you and me? Yeah. No, I think it was uh, we hit it off like within yeah. the first three seconds of meeting each other. I agree. Yeah, that was like weird. Yeah. That's not normal. What happened with you and I? No, not at all. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think that would have happened with us. Olive so no, Garden I, is open. Is it? Are restaurants open now? Well, I'm so di- confused. I don't go anywhere anymore. Dine out is now open. Oh, uh, you can. Oh, so you dine can o- in is not, so and you, takeout is open. Oh, let's go get some Olive Garden. That sounds good, actually. But how do we get the bottomless breadsticks? And- I don't think they do bottomless for takeout. You can't like, obviously. You, like keep you have to going keep back. going back. Hey, here's my container. Can you <laughs> fill it back up one more time for me, please? <laughs> Endless pasta. It's like impossible. Ooh, man, I miss that. Yeah, I was good. Okay. Oh, Cassie's here. Time out. I got an idea for endless pasta. You take one very, very, very long string, and once you say I'm done, they cut it off at Olive Garden, and it like all zooms up to your bowl. (laughs) Like a zip cord? You walk home with a piece of pasta in your mouth. (laughs) Ew, gross. Goes over the L.A. River. Tanned there. Down the 10 freeway. (laughs) Gross. 115, or 15 interchange. Through Norco, zipping by everybody's heads, heads on the way. Over to Corona, <laughs> Corona by a wildfire ends up in your Belinda. <laughs> but yet, um, um, but, but Valentine's Day. Uh, okay, so let's chat about some fun Valentine's days uh, in the past. Um, um, well, your first present to me for Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. which I don't remember what I because we don't you. do like big Valentine's Day. You no, and I, like, I don't we, do we're flowers. Not, we don't do anything. No, much. because it, you know, for us, it's like. Every day is Valentine's Day, right? Babe? And that sounds lame, but yeah, it is. <laughs> we are, oh, yeah, it is, but because we're overly like affectionate in this house. Maybe. So, so ev- like me, her going, why did you get me anything for Valentine's Day? I'm like, because I buy you things every day. No, I know. I, I do, would never. Plus, say I'm not going to waste the extra $30. <laughs> 
I we buy I usually buy the kids cards yeah. and candies, which is really cute and fun. But the first Valentine's Day for us is you made me salsa. I did, and you don't like salsa, salsa. <laughs> especially this one. So my you so I knew in, she loved me. Yeah, she you fell in love with my mom's salsa. So I was like, I better make this I did. at some point in our future because I have got to try to get him to. Make, Pop the question at some point. So uh, that it was? yeah, that was what that it was. was. You were that, was my, for that. that was my sealing the we, deal. <laughs> we had just moved into our own apartment together. Oh <laughs> You're like, okay, he's here now. Here's the salsa. Where's the ring? <laughs> I did this. Now you better do that. <laughs> and all she all she got was Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's all. It's like, dang, how long is this gonna take? No, I'm just kidding. It took a year. I know it took less 364 than three hundred sixty four days. It did. Right. Anyway, um, um, no, yeah. So that was what that was a fun thing. I th- I remember doing. Um. I feel like the other big significant Valentine's Day thing for our family was moving into this house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five years ago, this coming weekend, we've lived in the house in Riverside. We all lost our minds and decided we thought we were GCs and we could work on things. Oh, my God. And I can't tell you a time I've cried harder. No, I'm kidding. Okay, no. I remember uh, we got the keys on the 13th yes. of February. And it was like late at night, too. Mm-hmm. We had to come down here after it was dark and, and like... Check things out. Yeah. And I kind of got scared that mm-hmm. night. I was like, okay, this doesn't look like I remembered. Yep. We started the fire in the back. I remember that. We started the like, fire in okay, the back. Okay, this works. That's good. Okay. And then we went home. Yep. To we our cried other house. a little bit. I, well, I didn't yet. I was still like kidding. optimistic. And then we woke up bright and early and we started driving over. We were going to have two weeks to get this house in shape Mm -hmm. for us to move into. We had plenty of time because we didn't have to be out of the other house until the end of February. So we knew we have time. A little bit. A little bit of time. Mm -hmm. We come over back to the house and I look at it and I am overwhelmed. I mean, as soon as we walked in this house, I thought to myself, this is not going to happen. This is this isn't going. We're not going to get be ready. And if time. you want, if you want to know what she was looking at, go to Zillow and look at all the pictures for our address. Stop. But I'm not giving her address. Stop. But it was it like does gr- still look it like was that like green Zillow. carpet Zillow. and some raised up laminate flooring. And or- I just I realized at that moment what we we bit off more than we can chew. Like that is what I felt like. And you were like, "We're fine." And my dad mm-hmm. is saying, D- "No, don't worry. We're here. We got two weeks. Let's get this done." And it's a Saturday, Saturday I think, or a Sunday. Valentine's. Saturday I think. We stole it from your parents because they were here helping us paint. Right. But we did do a lot of work that week, and then we worked the whole week after, and then that next weekend I cried. Yes. And then we got because it all done. You realized, wait, Evelyn's right. We did bite off more <laughs> than we could chew. <laughs> and my dad's like, "Stop it, everybody with the crying." And my but- dad. Did a lot of a lot work. Of pain, Everybody pain did so much work. Oh my god! Yeah, it was kind of nice though because I remember that Valentine's we were doing stuff. We were all looking a hot mess, and oh, our, yeah. our <laughs> neighbor across the street, Jody, who you know we're buddies with now, yeah, walks over with a bottle of wine and two plastic champagne and champagne four cups, flutes or whatever, four yeah. champagne flutes for us and your parents. Yeah. And she's like, "It's Valentine's Day, and you're in your new house. You can't have no no champagne." And we're yeah. cracking up. I was like, "Oh, what a sweet neighbor!" It was very nice it was a, it was a good intro to them and their family I yeah just was, got a phone with chris actually so yeah, yeah. it's a really they're a sweet couple yeah, yeah so that was pretty funny do you have, what do you have any fun like valentine's day single like what do you do as a single guy before me of course um on valentine's day anything like anti-valentine's that you did anti no but ladies night yeah i'd go there you'd go yeah, to ladies hell yeah night. i'd go to ladies that's night super smart. <laughs> no that was super yeah. smart i go remember hang outside of a bet midler concert or something oh, i don't know a bet Mid- <laughs> you're trying to find the wrong age Sorry, group of TLC? women at that time <laughs> what year how long has it been since i was single oh my god bet midler though chris that says a lot more about you than anybody else. <laughs> She's the first one that came to mind because okay. I saw her concert. Really you good. did see her concert. I did. Um, so I remember doing, you know, like I didn't, the concept of Galentine's Day wasn't even a thing in my head. I've never heard that before so in my Galentine's life. So Galentine's Day. I, I know what it is because the gals. Yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like a thing. And like, if you watch Parks and Rec, they do a whole Wait, episode on it. Isn't there a movie called Valentine's Day where they do something like that? No, Valentine's. Yeah, but Galentine's. Is like about only women. It's a th- you got to watch the community episode because okay. it's right. super funny. Anyway, so 
I didn't know that concept because clearly that show had not been invented yet. But yep. we still we did it right. So okay. it was Valentine's Day Where'd instead of Galentine's Day, which I think is the day before. Thunder, um, down, thunder down under. No, we went to Hooters. <laughs> So Wait, I got my girlfriend. A little confused, but okay. My fun. girlfriends were like, "Come on, we're gonna go to Hooters," and I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's weird, but okay, we're gonna go to Hooters." Actually, it was the smartest idea. Really? Yeah, because every single dude was at Hooters for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, they were like, "No, yeah, because <laughs> not they were trying there, to be with girlfriends." They were there looking at the servers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of that, you want to go to Hooters after this and have a? Special- <laughs> I'm serious. I want a buffalo chicken sandwich. You've got me super strung up on that right now. Oh, but besides frickles that, sound good oh, though too. Come on, um, <laughs> that's funny. I would have never thought. I mean, I guess I would have thought. Well, I'm if sure, I was in your shoes, I'm sure that, the guys there weren't thinking that girls were going to be there, like random girls. But that's the that was the whole that was the whole magic of it. You had like the whole I room knew. to choose from. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no, nah, no, nah, his hair's so too guys long. No, nah, no, nah, his hair's too short. No, nah, no, nah, he's. Oh, he's, he's to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's cool. All right, well, all right. And then, you know, guys Ooh. were walking over to us and saying hi and stuff. It was nice. It wasn't like nobody, nothing came of it. And also kind of because my friend's brother was there too. His brother, yeah. So, one, so okay, so it was a, a group of girls. A group of girls. And a small group of guys that were like all guys. Like no, uh, none of us okay, were together so or anything had, okay. like that. Yeah, there were a couple guys there. And uh, one of the guys, my friend's brother brother Mm -hmm. kept trying to get at me and i was like you're ruining this opportunity like i have a room full of people i might sleep with i don't want to sleep with (laughs) you i don't want to sleep with anybody i'm just just trying to flirt (laughs) valentine's day no i I mean i've heard stories i've heard horror stories about people like breaking up on valentine's day before and then like getting back together a couple days later so they don't have to buy a present yeah oh that's jack i've never met anyone that's not a relationship worth being with then that's stupid I, no, yeah, I, mean, I agree BS. with you. I agree Hardcore with you. BS. It, but it works both ways. So, I mean, I'm sure it's worked both ways. But I've heard of people Mm-mm. like texting on Valentine's Day saying, hey, we're breaking up and stuff like that. That would suck. That's horrible. Like, that's horrible on any day, well, not just Valentine's Day. Like, well, yeah, F but that. Valentine's Day is even worse. It's, yeah, I guess. But it, that's clearly you're in the wrong relationship. Like, that's what that is. I know, but and it's, it's probably for the best. It's fun to hear it. If I'm it's talking not you. to somebody right now who feels that way <laughs> that they're going to text somebody on no, Saturday or they, Sunday. They or whatever better it is. not. Don't you even? What day is Valentine's Day? Sunday. 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 I have to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do have to work that day, and then we have a Monday off because it's President's Day. Oh, then we'll get hammered Sunday night. Just like every Sunday night. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we well, want to work then because we can. Um, do you know? Do you have any friends or anything like horror stories about like being dumped or like getting Valentine's horrible presents Day. or like uh, finding someone cheating or anything like that? No, which I'm glad actually because you're boring. How about you? I just told you of stories I you heard. Did, but you heard. You th- Those aren't stories firsthand. No, not firsthand. No, I'm glad I don't know any stories like that because that would be. Honestly, that's jacked up. Like, if you're going to be the big P word and, you know, break up on Valentine's Day, just wait or do it beforehand. Don't do it before. Do it, don't do it on Valentine's Day. Because that just makes you look like a big sissy lala. Like, that in my, if you're a dude. I agree. Like, what a big, that's a S move. How awesome, though, is I'm it? I'm like trying not to say all the bad how, words. How awesome, though, is it that COVID made Valentine's Day so easy for us guys? We don't have to call make reservations anywhere. No, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Have. We have to go well, anywhere. I mean, I, I mean, other places there are people that actually have pl- things that are open, but in California right now, I don't have to call and make reservations anywhere. We can't go anywhere. Actually, oh, if God. you want some, there's a lot of restaurants, local places that are setting up full on outside stuff. No, but not the outdoor dining where you can call and say, hey, I need. A uh, dinner for two, a Valentine's uh, dinner for up. two for pickup, and mm. they're doing. I think that's way harder. All Postmates. No, I think that's super sexy because they're probably taking their time. They're gonna do like pretty little napkins. They're gonna do pretty little decor decorations. I'm serious. You've this is never like a worked thing. in the food service industry. No, no, you've never worked in the food service industry during COVID. These <laughs> restaurants are being very, very resourceful. They're trying to do anything they can to offer like really cool experiences for lovers since they can't go out and dine, and they're charging. A surcharge for it. Okay, no, it's I, so smart. It is smart, but I think that if somebody that's a Postmates driver just dressed up like C- Cupid would probably get a lot farther. Well, he see that's the bummer part of that. <laughs> 
is because who knows which Postmates guy you're going to get. You don't get to pick the Cupid dude. No, but if you hope does Cupid that. Fu- gets you just in life, like in general. <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody dresses up like Cupid on links on a Valentine's Day on Sunday and just delivers their Postmates and no, all that. No, honestly, stuff. okay, restaurants, listen to this. Do that. Have your delivery guy be- dressed like. Oh, yeah. that'd be awesome. Or I mean, like, they could have clothes underneath, please, by all means. Like Even like Pizza Hut like or Papa John's or like whatever. Any place that delivers, have your guy. Okay, come on. Little Caesars. I agree. That guy He's looks like Cupid. He's already in a bi-diaper. <laughs> he looks like Cupid. He's in a toga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You got me there. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just an added thing, and then you can charge extra for it. Mm-hmm. Look, I am trying to help small business. Charge extra? Do it. People are going to do it. That's They're all I looking agree. for something to do that's a little romantic. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. No, it doesn't. The most romantic thing to me is like when you cook dinner for us and like it's all done. And Which I'm like, I have to yes. do right now. So can we wrap this up? Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> In other words. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, stop no, talking, no, Evelyn. No, uh, I wasn't saying shut up. I was just saying like I should no, probably start cooking dinner. You, you were saying shut no, up. It's getting dark out. I got a barbecue. Okay. I don't have a light. Oh, you're barbecuing tonight? Yeah, chicken. That's so hot. It's going to taste like tofu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> all right. All right. Go to thisisowner.com. Follow Evelyn Arivez across all platforms with her name. And uh, follow me, Chris underscore Donovan, on Twitter. Yeah. And thank you for joining the conversation. Yes. And please add us and let us know if you're listening, if you like any episodes. What do you want us to cook? We want to start cooking a lot more because I'm kind of getting like in this I'm getting bored wall. of burning the same things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need Me to burn too. something new. Okay, let us burn something new. <laughs> Send us something that you want us to burn. Yeah, right? <laughs> At what, Evelyn Arriva. What's your favorite thing to miscook? <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to do it because we're not professional. <laughs> By any means. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you next time. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.